and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to do something a little bit different today, actually. So I just now, for the first time, went to the Forgotten Grotto for the first time. I never said that. In my game. And somebody was, like, talking about how, oh, I posted pictures of it because I thought it was really pretty. And somebody was talking about, oh, like, you've never seen Secret Worlds. I'm like, really? I haven't. That's the only one besides, like, the Realm of Magic that I've seen. So I thought I'm going to do a video um, with all of the worlds, all the secret worlds and how to get to them. So I thought that'd be kind of like fun, informative for any people who haven't traveled to them, which is probably everybody except for me. But <laughs> again, here we go. And this will be my first reaction to some of these places. So I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and get into it. Okay, so a couple things. We have a random yet beautiful sim that we're going to use for this Jalissa. There are a couple worlds that we have to have a max skill set to get to. So I went ahead and just did that um, outside of the video to get us in a good place so that we can concentrate on what we are concentrating on. So we're going to start with the two that are in the base game and then move on to a few that are in some expansion packs. But uh, up first, we're going to look at um, the Forgotten Grotto, which is the one that I have been to. So you're going to go to your world view, world select, and go to Oasis Springs, the deserty kind of place that's not Strangerville <laughs> that comes in the base game. Um, and then you're going to go to this lot, which is Desert Bloom Park. We'll go ahead and get into there. Okay, so once in, we're going to travel to about the north, uh, well, maybe just like true north part. If I can find it. <laughs> part, oh, there it is. <laughs> part of this um, this park. And I'm going to go ahead and just teleporter here. Now, for this one, you have to have... Oh, I don't know where she went, but she teleported somewhere. Now, for this one, you have to have level 10 handiness. This is one that you will need a skill for, whether you want to cheat it, UI cheats it, or just get it. You're more than welcome to do so. Okay, the teleport didn't work. That's fine, girl. Take your time. Jalissa. <laughs> okay. She's running. She's running so fast. Okay, so we have our level 10 handiness. She's going to break it open. Like so. Because she's strong. She's a strong, independent woman. Okay. Now we're going to click the cave again and go to explore. This is going to be one that's going to ask us a couple different options to get in but i've already taken the time to figure those out so that you don't have to so we'll go ahead and focus on fast mode so we're going to take the wide path on this first question and then what do my notes say okay wait for the second pop up climb ladder so again the second option and then we're going to step onto the ledge and this should be the last one. And then it is, yep, travel to Grotto. All right, so I've turned my G-Shade off for the purposes of this video. This is the absolutely stunningly gorgeous Forgotten Grotto. This place is so pretty, like, see how well my specs hold up on my computer. It's, I just think it's gorgeous. I really like it. Um... Also, if you have, I think it's the Life Tragedies mod. This is where your sins come if they get kidnapped. <laughs> this is where the kidnappers bring your sins. Um, Forgotten Grotto is really great for, like, um, digging up rare metals and crystals. Like, let's see. Let's see. For example, I don't want to spend too much time in each world because I don't want this video to be incredibly long. However, I do want to show, okay, like, one, maybe, like, one, what you get with crystals. And I don't know them all, but, uh, you know, you'll get the, you'll get the gist. You'll get the idea. Uh, sh sure. So that was a sapphire. I don't really know if those are rare. I don't, maybe they're not that rare here. <laughs> maybe she could find, I don't know. But I also know that you can find, um, some pretty rare fish here. Like the batfish, I think is, okay, Never mind. That sapphire is common. Sapphire is my birthstone, by the way. Go Libras. Um, but yeah, I mean, this world is just, it really is just gorgeous. Oh my God. Like the crystals, 
everything is just done so well in my opinion but yes yeah, so this is where you can catch that batfish which would be on the rare um let me see if i like make these go up a little bit if and again i'm using the ui cheats mod to do this if nobody knew that <laughs> if you didn't know that but so yes uh just caught a caress she caught some crates okay great well you know this is where you can catch that batfish which again is on the or what i was trying to say is on the rare collectibles as far as fish go and i don't see any more stones but i know there are some okay well you know i'm just not seeing them but anyway again just take a look around this is forgotten grotto so pretty i can't say it enough I am obsessed with this with this with this world. And also just to mention, you can build on almost any of these lots, and I will report their lot sizes as well. This one in Forgotten Grotto is only a 15 by 10. I think it's kind of cool they give you like random Forgotten Grotto items. Like, oh, here's a potato chip. I guess my Forgotten Grotto is gonna have a potato chip. But yeah, anyway, 15 by 10. And the way you can do this is by putting obviously testing teach cheats. Uh, you know, control shift C, testing cheats true, and then BB dot enable free build. And that will allow you to build in any of these lots. Up next, we're going to go to Sylvan Glade, and I've actually never been to this one. For this lot, we're going to go to Willow Creek. Yeah, Jesus, I almost said new cruise. And then in the residential area down here, you'll see this Crit Cabana. We're going to go there. All right, next we have to find a tree that looks out of place. So you're going to spawn right here. Now, there are only, you obviously can't get on the other side of the river. Um, there are three trees right here, which one, process of elimination. We're going to go with this one. So you have to do interactions again in order to access what we need to access. So where did our sim go? No, Travis Scott, we don't want to hang out. I'm sorry. Not today. Okay. Okay, so she's viewing it. And I think we just have to kind of like spam these interactions in order for more of them to pop up. So we're just going to keep doing that. God, we're popular today. All right, let's water it now. I believe that's the order I have written down. Yes. All right, let's go back into being quick with it. We might just be able to like, you might not obviously need to like know any of these. It might just, uh, the new ones are going to pop up as you do them. I am assuming. We'll see. Oh, chat about roots. That's the new one. Spam that again. Here we go. Now we have compliment. Oh, compliment on leaves. And then I'm just going to keep like, because I don't, I just want to get done with this. So we're going to cheat it. Then we have explorer. All right. Oh, cool. Okay, so it opened right there. That's pretty nice. That's pretty neat. All right. So, I'm assuming we're going to get uh, prompts here on what to do. So, let's see what I have written down for this. Okay. Up first, you're going to follow the sound. And then we're going to go downstream. Enter, enter the mist. Ethereal. I like that word. That's a good word. And then we're going to travel to the glade. So let's go ahead and get going. Okay, so again, this is, I've never seen this world. And I just have to say, wow, this is super pretty, honestly. Oh, I love it. Look at this. This is gorgeous. Oh, is there a rainbow? Oh my gosh. Okay, no, this is so pretty um now this world is good for like collectibles and frogs there's a basil bush uh let's go oh my god just look at this it's so freaking pretty uh, i'm so upset i haven't like traveled here before i don't know man i'm pretty much just a builder. okay that's how we go home let's click back on the tree i'm pretty much just a builder Ang angle for big catch okay Let's see what this gets us, actually. I'm just curious as to what this interaction is going to do. I think it's going to be pretty neat. Let's see if we get some rare fish. I think there's, like, rare fish 
rare frogs in this world. I don't know. She's not fishing very quickly, though. <laughs> oh, wow. Look. Look at like, the light beam coming down right here. It's really pretty. Obviously, there's just... Oh, Snapdragon. I know that those are pretty... Pretty good. Pretty good flowers. Frogs. There's a frog. Oh, we got a tree fresh. A tree... A tree fish. A tree fresh. Help. Okay, more frogs. And then if we come over here, we have this beautiful rainbow waterfall. That's really pretty. Honestly, it like the little guide said a little bit more about rainbow. I thought it was going to be a little bit more impressive, but you know, it's fine. There's just not a whole lot to do here. Like we can get some frogs. She loves fishing. Apparently <laughs> I love that for her. So we get some frogs. I love that. That rainbow is pretty there. I just wish you could like get over there more. Maybe let's see if we can get a really good angle on a picture. I think we can. Yes. Uh, I love it very pretty again just not oh and a sunflower frog just maybe not the most to do in sylvan glade but i'm glad we came and lastly if you go into enable free reel mode you get again a 15 by 10 right smack dab over the uh swimming or the the, the fishing hole so that could actually probably be a really cute little house or something like that this next one is called the Deep Woods, and I'm actually really excited about this one because I want to meet the hermit. <laughs> um, you have to have outdoor retreat in order to access this hidden world. So for this lot, you have to actually, for this hidden world, you have to actually travel to Granite Falls. Oh, we're vacationing. But anywho, whenever you go into your phone or computer, you hit take a vacation. It'll ask you where you want to go, and you'll put Granite Falls, and it'll, you'll pick one of these rental cabins. And then once you're here, you will have to go back into your phone, hit travel, where you'll be able to go to the um, the Granite Falls woods. I'm already there. I forgot to uh, minimize my webcam, so I'm already there. So, we are in the woods, and we're going to... This is just where I randomly spawned. I'm going <laughs> to, I don't know if I really want to do this part on camera, but why not? We're already here. We're going to look for the cave. Um, I kind of saw a little bit in a video or in a, uh, well, never mind. <laughs> is this the, where the hermit, this isn't where the hermit lives, is it? No, this is a rental cabin. Or it's like the, oh, it's like the lodging. I see. Okay. So we are on a mission now to find this cave. Ew. I definitely probably should not film this part. I would just like to say it took a ridiculous amount of time for me to find this, uh, where you travel to the deep woods. So here's the, it's a pretty big lot of forest. So here's the, um, the cabin that you come into here's like a little like fire pit area i don't want to move my camera around because i'm scared i'll lose it again and then like if it's right there and you're going like essentially north pardon me essentially north uh east you will eventually at the very edge of the map see it here <laughs> so it's about the furthest that you can go it's between two like rocks so <laughs> unbelievable it took us that long it took me that long but i did so here we go as per usual we need to explore we have need to choose the right options so the first is going to be step forward and then go through web and then ignore the objects and then travel towards the sim and okay he's just laying in the rain for you know whatever reason all right, so we just got in here, and again, there are some really pretty views. Why is it snowing? Okay, I guess it's going to snow now. There's the Hermit's House, which we'll get to in a bit. But if you come over here, I particularly am loving this view. Um, okay, well, my camera's not wanting to turn left. Okay, oh my gosh, see, look how pretty that is. I'm getting a nice little screeny with uh, the snow and everything. Oh my gosh, it is really pretty. For sure. This is again one of the worlds I had not been to. So I am living for it. It's not much if it is bigger at all than Sylvan Glade or the Grotto. Forgotten Grotto, it's not much bigger. But I know that you can get like oh identified mushroom. 
there are five different new fish that come with the outdoor retreats and you can get all of them here especially the the super rare mountain lion fish so that one's pretty good i was gonna look at a gardening skill but i'm not gonna mess with that oh you just go into the hermit's house and help yourself okay great so i had already done one take of this where i was a little bit wrong in my information so this is again so we've already met the hermit which there are definite advantages to meeting the hermit that is going to establish your herbalism skill which is another skill that comes exclusively with the outdoor retreat pack um and this says how a kind of nature lover take vested best take advantage of gifts of the forest rare and wondrous herbs aren't just leafy greens but precious ingredients so you could probably i mean you can definitely come around here to their garden and like i said i don't have any gardening skill but you could probably take cuttings and all that of their plants which i know like sage they have sage and then um they have blackberries and i want to say blueberries uh strawberries are common blackberries and like i said i want to partially common um blackberries and blueberries which are pretty rare as well so the fishing hole is going to be right over here and that's where you would oh okay great so she just acquired the new gardening the gardening not new but the gardening skill again we'll do another shot of this like really pretty area oh my gosh it is it is really gorgeous these hidden worlds are beautiful so far all right so now let's talk about the the hermit the interaction there so if you get enough high i went ahead and cheated it but if you get enough of a friendship with the hermit you can click that uh learn herbalism recipe and says Jalissa has learned the fungal infusion fertilizer recipe from the hermit that's a mouthful so you have the recipe for that with your herbalism skill that you got by meeting him and I think you can get some pretty good gardening tips from him as well um I don't want to spend too much time here so I don't want to like look into everything too too much but yeah yes great 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 all right, so I think that that's pretty much. Oh, now she's gonna cloud gaze again. Pretty much gonna do it for the deep woods. Now it's time to get to the one that I'm probably the most excited for, which is six a.m. Six a.m. I don't know. Uh, this video I know is gonna be pretty long, but I'm gonna try to figure out how to timestamp it on YouTube. If I can't figure it out, I mean, no promises. And if I can't figure it out, sorry. Okay, so the most straight. Well, there are two ways to get to six a.m. You can build a rocket ship yourself, which is what we're going to do since I already maxed out the rocket ship skill, which you can, um, the rocket ship building skill, something like that. But anywho, there's a couple different rocket ships. We don't need to go into it, but, um, or we can, I guess, actually. I got the most expensive one because why would I just not do that? <laughs> so we're going to start building this guy out. I'm not going to film all of that, obviously, or... You can get there through the scientist career, and there is more to offer as far as rares and collectibles go going that route. However, this is for a video, and I'm not doing all of that just to get to six them. Just not happening. It takes an extremely long time in game to build a rocket. We're already at 13 sim hours. 19 sim hours later, we have a rocket. What you're going to want to do, though, is go ahead and install this wormhole generator under upgrade. So, again, this is the level 10 rocket science skill and probably the handiness skill too i'm not 100 percent sure this little note i forgot to say too this requires the sims 4 get to work expansion pack so after good god that took another like it's almost 12 to 10 hours after you've installed the wormhole you should be able to travel through wormhole and i believe oh okay that should woo here we go should be taking us to Sixum. All right, so here we are. My first time seeing Sixum in game. This is cool. Yeah, you can tell it's definitely like alien. Look at this cool like water over here. It's like a biohazard. 
and you wow no this is really cool I, like i said i really like all the blues um so we'll just take a quick look around here uh you can go all up through here yep and then back down looks like so there are a couple things in sixum um there are first of all there are very wait a minute i have to see this there are very specific um very specific geodes that is part of a collection that you can only find in um sixum so it's like those could be a uh there are some some crystals as well that are a little bit more rare which i can see right here i want to let's collect this one oh somebody already got it well that's rude <laughs> so there are some collectibles here there that should give us in our inventory what once you unpot once you polish it it would be one of the geodes uh let's go ahead and cheat her knees really quickly um and then i know that there's a place okay so that we found a turquoise that looks like it's already been collected you can there's a couple different there's just a lot of like resources here and there's also some pretty rare fish i gotta find the the fishing spot uh oh no why are we burning to death oh no okay that's interesting so before we leave i do want to find where you live the fishing spot which looked like it was probably okay here we go it's got to be it it's got to be one here no interesting where's the fishing i don't know where do you fish on sixum they're supposed to be rare fish but where do you fish okay well there's an orb stalk i've definitely never heard of an orb stalk so uh yeah definitely like some pretty rare stuff of course with beautiful scenery once again oh my gosh that's so pretty oh okay look you get a whole planet back there nice oh my gosh i am living for sixum right now it looks like there would be like a little city back there of course it's really far away and we can't get to it but well she's happy to be here <laughs> a clear mind okay okay there's that orb stock and that's already been collected uh but where do you fish okay i'm confused oh here's another obvious thing about sixum that i should have probably said earlier aliens so this is where you meet aliens um if they don't just like show up in your game or you know whatever i think it goes a little bit differently if you're part of the scientist career but there are just there are aliens everywhere well there's two of them so we're doing really great but i know that there is somewhere to fish here and but yeah it does look like there are a ton of collectibles whether it be the wait maybe it's not fish it's not okay i'm wrong it's flowers so now that i've seen two of these flowers so you got the quill plant the orb and there's one called the fang flower too so all of those are available on sixum but we've seen enough i believe of this world so which i was really excited about it um let's get on out of here and if you enable free build you're going to have yet another uh if it's gonna load oh this is a 20 by 20 lot so this would be on the little runway area where the teleportation thing is the electro flux electro flux wormhole generator all right so this next lot is not a full hidden lot so it's just going to be like a really quick honorable mention but it is the cave in sulani so the cool thing about the sulani cave is that it's very easy to find so if you go up into the uh north eastern <laughs> part of Sulani, you will actually see the cave right here so obviously it's gonna be best to travel to the apparently dreamer residence and <laughs> this save file uh so let's go ahead and do that so again this one's super easy because we spawned right here and the cave is hold please I accidentally exit out of my game to make sure i was recording so i don't have to wait for it to come back on cool okay so the cave is right there pretty easy so we're just gonna go explore that and really like i said this doesn't take you to any kind of off lot or anything but you can get some pretty cool stuff by exploring it 
and you just get a bunch of like fun pop-ups and you can get a tulip shell but the biggest thing i would keep exploring this for is mermaid kelp which if you don't feel like making a mermaid and cast it's gonna be ancient wreck yeah you just keep getting cool like pop-ups like this um if you feel like just eating kelp uh, turning your sim into a mermaid it's by eating the kelp so this is the area where you're gonna need to do that um if you just keep doing it eventually you'll get some some mermaid kelp so that's about it to the cave in sulani up next we have the realm of magic now obviously i'm not going to sit here and explain an entire game pack in this video but i can at least if you haven't been there which i have been there it's beautiful i really like it there's a lot to do um i'm gonna at least show you guys how to get there and also a brief and we can look at the three different parts of it three or two 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 we can look at those different parts and all that so it's like solani this one's easy to see it's on the map so you're gonna go to glimmerbrook and then obviously you can see this uh portal this gateway right here so we're going to and you can follow this path we're going to go to this glimmerbrook watch residential and that's where we'll travel from this one is not at all hard to find uh where you spawn you're just gonna follow this path 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 and then ba bam that's it and it literally says traffic travel to the magic realm now obviously for this one you're gonna have to have realm of magic dlc installed and i forgot to mention that sulani requires island living expansion pack and we have now arrived at the magic realm um i think that this world is also really pretty what's wrong with you you touch something painful from beach coming okay i don't care um talk like a pirate day i don't care okay so uh again this one's really really pretty and like there's this like eerie ominous noise in the background on this realm as what to this realm as well oh no okay i was wrong there are three little worlds that come with this but yeah again just such a pretty world all of these are just like really pretty and i love the colors of all of them i really do let's see if we can get like a oh wow okay yeah yes okay so whenever you arrive to the realm of magic you want to first start talking to um like i said i'm not going to go through this entire game pack i'm mostly just going to show you the world and how to do like just the most simple things um you would go and start talking to one of the sages they they spawn differently sometimes you get morgan ember similar i get so sage of practical chaos and there's another kind of magic and you just talk to them and start learning with them and that's how you essentially become a spellcaster um but that's gonna be the main usage and there's like cauldrons in here there's library um that's gonna be the main usage of this first area that you get to in this floaty world world and then this would take you to caster's alley which we will look at that really quickly i haven't played with this pack in a long time and i could be totally wrong but i feel like if you learn how to fly on a broomstick you can actually just fly there instead of like going through the um the oh my god what did i just call these through this thing oh and look at that you don't even need to hit a loading screen to get here but yeah caster's alley is gonna buy gonna be where you buy like wands tomes and familiars uh brooms and crystals and potion ingredients so this is gonna be you know that area where you can buy your goods and okay why is there oh i guess you can lay on your broom mother that's cute so that makes sense why you can do that because there is no loading screen to get to caster's alley which again as we know super pretty oh uh, look at these views this is a this is a really cool view nice oh wow it's like a whole different video game doesn't it okay oh we just went to caster's alley <laughs> So now we need to go back. Okay, oops, oops. Okay, I'm really failing hard at this. Return to HQ. All right, so, and now up next, your next little area that you can go to is the dueling grounds. Let's see if we can teleport there. Maybe it's not like working for me right now, which sometimes that option like just straight up does not work, which I guess it's like not now. I kind of want to see a show, but oh okay it worked that time so if you go to the dueling grounds this is where you can um 
challenge people you just have to a battle uh once you're a spellcaster and it also looks like there's items to dig around here too so i'm sure you could probably find some good collectibles as well but yeah so let's take an overview oh wow super cool you got like shooting stars going on it's really nice i don't play with this pack enough but that is going to be the realm of magic hidden world hidden world and last but not least, we will be traveling to Mount Kamarobi. I never know if I'm saying that right. Kamarobi. Kamarobi. To go to the upper part of the mountain. So we already maxed out that rock climbing skill just to be safe. I don't know that it's technically required, but I don't want her falling off a mountain and 86 from herself. So we went ahead and did that. So for this one, we're going to start out by going to the um, Sedufani Onsen Bathhouse in Mount Kamarobi. Okay, so for this climb, you're going to need a couple things. Um, first, we're going to get a tent and because you, you are like required to rest at some point. And then, so we're just going to get that, drag it out here, and then whenever we'll put it in our inventory, whenever we go into live mode, live mode, whatever you call it. And then we do need to order some things on this computer, so I'm just going to plop down a computer at this random desk at the bathhouse so that we can get it done. We're going to go to the computer and hit order order purchase climbing gear there we go and now we have uh maybe i don't see any climbing gear <laughs> did we screw it up maybe okay well can we put uh oh why can't we put it on the inventory i do own it excuse me is it because i didn't like is it because it's it's in the bathhouse <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to, like, I'll be right back. Well, side note, I'm also going to, like, get some, like, spray, this canister, this powder, like, all this stuff just so that, um, I don't end up having to turn around and we can just knock this out. Injury balm. Uh, to, to, I don't, I don't even know. <laughs> what else is there? That should be it. And maybe just, like, some some type of like food or drink just to like put in our inventory i don't know i'm just gonna get all of them a teriyaki hot dog i feel like would be great see look they're all in our inventory now we can eat them all so we're gonna try that again mm -hmm. this uh tent still here but i have one in my inventory now so you want a couple things i got for these excursions i got a tent i got climbing gear which we're gonna go ahead and equip and then i got a equip equipped I don't know how you say that. Whatever. Uh, okay. Uh, I wonder if we should. While I'm like showing you what I got, I'm going to get. Oh, oops. Okay, whatever. Oh my God. Why did you just. No. You're such a freak. So now I need to change your outfit again. But anyway, so I got medicine. I got canned food. I got like regular food. That's already spoiled. Just kidding. <laughs> oh, I think I got like canned food though, didn't I? Or just like spray? Did I not get any canned food? Emergency. What is that? That's coffee. A, a corn soup. Right. Okay. It really actually doesn't matter because I um can just cheat it. So can you like not go get in the bath? So what we need to do first is once you've equipped all that, I'm going to make sure she, it's probably going to change you to athletic. But whatever, this is already, this, I just am trying to get in this world and show everybody else how to get to this world. No. Okay, so, let's see. You're going to go to social, plan a social event, and uh, you're going to do mountain climb, excursion, whenever that comes up. Eventually, maybe mountain, climb, excursion, excursion gold event i don't really need it no do i need it oh it's forced gold okay great so okay um and then i have to have a team member oh no i didn't know i had to have a team member okay we'll bring the hermit <laughs> oh no okay gather excursion members near the trail map marker at the top of the climbing route okay i think i know where that is <laughs> Uh, if it's near where you go, 
on like this is i feel like this is gonna take a lot of trial and error maybe i should have started like with this one because this is gonna be like a lot <laughs> i feel like an idiot okay um is that not where you have to like <sighs> whatever i'm not doing all of that okay let's just like go climb this climb courageously let's go do that okay so we're up the first wall and consult trail map marker i don't like actually really know how to do this um but i'm gonna figure it out okay it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine but so it's a gold event can i move on what a move ready to oh okay so this is how i'm just gonna like quickly cheat it but it is a gold event so if you don't have UI cheats installed or you're playing on console or whatever, I mean, try to get through the steps as long as it doesn't take like forever. Uh, so the group was a bit underprepared. They are a little bit tired, but reached the Mount Kamarobi base camp. Okay. Who's tired? Oh, we're tired. Heard. All right. Interesting. I don't know where she's going. Oh, she's going to climb again. She is. She's ready. Homegirl's ready. But it's, we're going to have to inspect climbing route, inspect, we could have just rested here. Sleep. Okay, let's just go sleep. Let's go sleep for a minute. But yeah, we are getting to see some of the world. Um, I haven't seen, like I said, like any of this, so this is really neat. Okay, so we're going to rest for an hour. Has it been an hour? It's been an hour, I think. Oh, okay. Okay, perfect. So, we need to... Where's our climbing excursion partner? Oh, he just went. He doesn't... He don't give a crap, huh? Okay, so... We need to inspect the climbing wall traditions. Again, I'm just trying to do this thing... Like, a little bit. And then... Dress is wearing... Okay. Oh, and now she just started climbing on her own. See, I love this sim. Yeah, she can love rock climbing. I love rock climbing. Fun fact about me, I was a competitive rock climber for five or six years. And, okay. We're ready to move on. Move further up. Let's go. Now, in this um, area, in this phase, it's going to make you your sim eat something. So, that's why we have, uh, no, not that one. <laughs> We're going to drink the soup. Oh, okay. And that was quick. Great. So we're not losing that much daylight. So she's energized. Um, we're just going to cheat that bladder, of course. Yeah. And now we have to have a sim. This is a big wall. Okay. Oof. All right. Let's uh climb cautiously. Even though she is a level 10, I don't know how that climbing... Uh-oh. She's falling. How is she still earning a skill? Didn't I have... <gasps> I do have her at 10. Okay, I'm just like, making sure. Where's Brock at? Okay, he's chilling. He's getting up there. It's five sound progress. I don't care. Okay. I feel like we're almost... We gotta be, like, close to being there. Let's just see how this is, like, looking, too. Oh, gorgeous. Yeah, this has gotta be, like, the last... Oh, wow. This is pretty. Wow, yes. This is very, very cute. I like it. Definitely a fan. Did we get up? Are we up? No, because I hit cautiously. All right, go. You're fine now. You're up. I love how they just don't have any. Any climbs. Okay, we did. We're just going to say that we did that. We're going to say that we did that, too. And now we're going to move on again. All right, and we have reached the destination of Mount Kamarobi and this video. Finally, we have reached and get you get a you get an exclusive club of Sims who can wear the mountain bracelet beanie and the mountain climbing beanie and bracelet to show off their accomplishments. That's pretty neat. Do we already have it? Can we equip it? Um. Okay. Yeah. Never mind. It, I don't know where it is, <laughs> but whatever. So, this is going to be the top of Mount Kamarobi. Kamarobi. Let's see what's up here. You got, there's a dragon fruit. That's pretty, that's not the most common thing in the world. And it's pretty, it's, it's worth some money too. 
Oh, you have a bathroom. <laughs> That's what we needed. But I think the best thing in it is going to be to go into tab mode and look at, oh my gosh. <gasps> look, at, look how pretty that is. Oh. I am obsessed. That's so neat. And it's about to be nightfall. You get some snow flurries going on. That's so cool. Oh, and I was only on like half the mountain. Okay, you can go. Yeah, you can go up here. Nice. I bet this is where you build. This has got to be the build part of it. Yep. So, just so everybody knows, since we've been doing this for all of them, so my game is wanting to freeze, I guess? I don't know. This is really weird. Um, It's just, uh, so the Mount Komorobi Peak is a 20 by 20. And, yeah, so I bet there would be some really cool views from up here. Let's see. Let's just teleport there. I did see like a, I think it was a little Simsy like building challenge on this one time. It looked pretty cool. Oh my God. That really is gorgeous though. So all in all, this video has been like very, very worth it. Oh, look, it's almost like it's the snow's blowing. That's so neat. This video has been very worth it. It's very long, but all of this is incredibly beautiful. And I'm so glad that I got to see it all for the first time. So that does it for The Sims and all the hidden worlds. I would just like to say that that video just took me like three and a half hours to film. This video took a very long time. Of course, I was like researching stuff as I was doing it. Big shout out to like Game Rant, Screen Rant, Carl Sims Guide. I looked at a bunch of them just to try to um, gather as much information as I could about these uh, hidden worlds. And I hope that it was informative. Um, again, I'm sorry about the length of it. Um, but I really wanted to be as in-depth as I could. So this was a great way to spend my father's birthday. I feel bad. We went to dinner and everything. I spent all day with him. But I did spend a lot of time doing this today. So, oops. But anywho, I really hope that everybody enjoyed this content. Please, as always, like and subscribe. And remember to always have, uh, have a wonderful night. And remember to always be curious and not judgmental. Bye.